Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Frey, or you could call me Ufty Tuts, as per se is my channel. And uh, today I'm bringing you an actual 3D text template for Sony Vegas. And originally I created one about in 2010, and uh, I lost the file because my hard drive had to be formatted. I uploaded it to Mega Upload, and that got removed, of course. And here I'm just going to show you a really old thing I uploaded that I re-uploaded to my PS3 channel. It's uh, it's right pretty good motion tracking. That's uh, you can see the shadow, and uh, there you go, 1250 mini edit. Uh, I really like this one because it has shadow and has great lighting. But uh, today I'm just going to show you how to create the actual 3D, and in a series of tutorials, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create shadows like this and um shadows on the ground or whatever surface they're on and uh hope you guys stick around to see those uh, as you can see you can see the ridges and that's because the actual template i created right now is only seven layers my original template as you can see uh here was about 150 to 200 layers and they were closer together right here the only difference is there uh five as you can see right here and the Z axis, they're only five degrees uh, separated from each other. Where here they were, I think, 0.50. And uh, they, again, there were a lot of layers that I had to do. And it took a long time. And I just created this quickly because I wanted to bring you guys a tutorial. I'll create that one again with 150 layers soon. But please show you guys your support by leaving a like if you really do enjoy this tutorial and if you want to go check out the rest of the tutorials I'll be uploading them shortly um, so basically it's just a bunch of layers and as you can see it's 3d and uh, it's really easy you don't have to download 3d letters created in cinema 4d you don't it's not a well it kind of is of an effect because it's not real 3d but that's as good as uh, you can get in Sony Vegas as far as I know and I'm actually just gonna include this template files for you guys to download but I'm gonna show you how I created it myself if you guys wanna create say a 300 layer or 3000 layer and have it fit perfectly that'd be extremely awesome um, so basically all you have to do is go to your text on your media generators default text nothing special We'll just rename this to 3D text. Keep it Arial, because you never know what fonts and what fonts other people don't have or do have. Keep it bold; it looks better. And this is basically where magic happens: is you gotta go to the compositing mode and switch it to 3D Source Alpha. Once you have that, you are ready to start creating your 3D text. Now that you have this, you want to go and click Make Compositing Child this way if you move this text in any way at all the bottom text will move as well you also have to go and change the parent composite mode to 3d source alpha as well now what you want to do is uh, just for the sake of time I'll make this the Z axis uh, 5 and that's basically all you do duplicate the track change this one make sure you click the other layer unless you want it to change and click 10 and basically just keep moving up in 5 and uh, increments of 5 and you will eventually get have a nice text of course if you make it smaller say 0 0.50 it'll look a lot more solid uh, as you can see we already have some 3D text but uh, of course once you actually get down to it and you see it from this position you can see it's not real 3D but it still looks pretty nice and I created a bump map that makes it look a lot better call it 3D text I had a better one I think I can't recall how I created it though so I created this one and you just lay it down right here 
it adds uh, better lighting for it as you can see it looks more three-dimensional and it's fairly easy to control so uh, that's about it guys I'll be including more tutorials soon on how to motion track it how to add better lighting better shading and all that good stuff anyways guys FD Tuts out